KO. Exercise. We have indications warning of an active CDCM site. Bearing. 121 through 38 miles. Hey, how's it going guys? This is Lieutenant Rob Reihardt from Chicago, Illinois. This is the great warship USS Laboon uh, at Naval Station Norfolk, here to do a virtual tour for you guys. With the COVID-19 season, it is nearly impossible to stand six feet away from each other. So as we tour the USS Laboon, we will don our face mask and let's get started. I heard on the USS Laboon uh, on the forecastle at Naval Station Norfolk. Uh, Naval Station Norfolk, currently the largest Navy base in the world. Uh, command or parent commands of uh, destroyers, cruisers, carriers, and some submarines. The Laboon was named after Father Jake Laboon. Uh, that's our namesake. Father Jake did great things for both the surface force in the Navy and also the Chaplain Corps. The guided missile destroyer is the, the tip of the spear of the nation's arsenal and how we do power projection. We take our ship uh, to anywhere in the world and project that uh, sea power. One of the ways that we do that is through our five inch 54 gun weapon system. We're gonna head up to the pilot house and see where the ship is driven from. the pilot house on board USS Laboon or the bridge when we're underway. We have IBNS, which is Integrated Bridge Navigation System, which is the most up-to-date navigation system that allows us to safely navigate anywhere in the world uh, utilizing electronic charts. And one way how we do it, then we need our sailors on board. So gonna introduce MM2 Boudreaux. She is the ship's master helmsman, and she's here to talk about what she does on board. Hi, I'm MM2 Samantha Boudreaux. I'm from Louisiana, and I am the ship's master helmsman. I am the only one on board qualified to do what I do. I take this ship and I navigate it through safe waters. I have four engines, two shafts. I control all of it to make it make sure I can do what I can to keep our ship safe when we are traveling through restricted waters, sea and anchors, and underway replenishment. You have to be very precise in what you do. Any mess up could lead to other events that we don't want. All right, guys, now that we learned about the bridge and the ship's uh, navigation system, let's continue our tour. Hey, guys, now we're in the Combat Information Center. We call it CIC. In CIC, this is where we employ the ship's weapon systems, whether it's the Tomahawk weapon system or the five inch gun that you just learned about on the Folkso, this is where it all happens. Essentially, combat is where we fight the ship from. Now that we learned about the Combat Information Center, we're gonna continue our tour to the Mestex.
Now we're on the USS Laboon Mestex. Uh, our Mestex feeds all of our sailors, over 300 of them. We feed three square meals a day. Uh, so the Mestex open 24-7, 365 days out of the year uh, just to feed our crew. And now we'll continue to tour to the boat deck. Guys, now we're on the boat deck on USS Laboon. Our two ribs, rigid hull inflatable boats, named after our namesake, Jake Laboon. Uh, the forward one is father and the aft one is Jake. We utilize these small boats for a variety of different missions, whether it's search and rescue, personnel transfer, or VBSS, which is visit board search and seizure. Uh, these boats get a work in. Now we're continuing on to the aft missile deck. Hey guys, as we continue our tour, now we're on the aft missile deck on USS Laboon. So in the pilot house, we learned about the integrated bridge navigation system and how we can utilize that to safely navigate around the world. And then we went into combat information center and we learned about how the Aegis weapon system allows us to fight the ship. And now on the aft missile deck, we're gonna learn about the vertical launch system. And just a fun fact about the USS Laboon, USS Laboon was the first to fire Tomahawks many, many years ago. And as of today, we are the last ship to fire Tomahawks into Syria in 2018. And now here to talk about the vertical launch system, GM2 Farley. Hi guys, my name is GM2 Farley. I was born and raised in Liverick, Maine, about an hour and a half away from where this ship was built and commissioned. Here I'm, about, I'm talking about our Mark 41 Mod 2 vertical launching system. We have two on board, one on the aft missile deck and one on the forecastle. As you saw, the one on the aft missile deck, we can hold 69 missiles ranging from our standard um, missile all the way up, up into our Tomahawk missile. The normal range for them would be about 35,000 nautical miles, reaching all the way out to about 45,000 nautical miles. For the aft launcher itself, we can hold 69 missiles inside and 29 uh, up forward. Hey guys, and now we're at the last stop of our tour on board USS Laboon, the flight deck. So USS Laboon flight deck, we can land the MH-60 Romeo. Uh, that allows us to extend our battle space. Also, we utilize the Romeo for anti-submarine warfare, personnel transfer, vertical replenishment, and it just looks cool to launch a helo from your flight deck. And now to wrap up our tour, I'd like to introduce Commander Chuck Spivey, the executive officer on board Fearless 5-8. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes your virtual tour on board the Mighty Warship Laboon. Uh, we'd love to have you on board, but due to some the COVID uh, pandemic that's going on right now, we're not able to do so. But it's definitely been our pleasure and our fine sailors' pleasure to show you what this Mighty Warship does for our nation.